two hours and holding. We're going to look now at some video of the Atlas V rocket as it was rolled out to the launch pad yesterday at Complex 41, moving out from the vertical integration facility out to the pad itself. The rollout began at 8.02 in the morning. And it was actually at the pad by about 8.40 and then there was about another half hour of activity to get it hard down onto the uh, launcher pedestals, onto the launch mounts. So that the uh, mobile launcher platform was in position and all of the connections could be made between the pad and the uh, launch platform that uh, then is uh, interfacing with the vehicle. The uh, rocket as we see there is 197 feet tall. The uh, Atlas is 106 and a half feet long, 12 and a half feet in diameter, and then the Centaur is 41 and a half feet long, 10 feet in diameter. And there are four solid rocket boosters attached to the rocket. Each of those is 67 feet in length, 5 feet in diameter, and weighs over 102,000 pounds. They uh, will burn for about 92 seconds at liftoff before they fall away. The uh, Atlas stage will burn about 4 minutes and 27 seconds. The, uh, that's the uh, first stage. Then the Centaur takes over. And it will have two burns. First one will last 6 minutes 52 seconds to get it into a parking orbit. And then there will be a second burn that will last exactly 8 minutes. That uh, will then get it ready for spacecraft separation and uh, launch it on its planetary trajectory to Mars. It's a time-lapse uh, shot of the rollout. We're going to be standing by now in just a moment to hear our NASA launch uh, director, NASA launch manager, Omar Baez, pull the uh, NASA team for their readiness uh, for cryogenic tanking. And at this point, uh, everything is continuing to go well, we have uh, still a just a 30% chance of not meeting our launch weather criteria. We're at T-minus 2 hours and holding. This is Atlas Launch Control. 